Wow. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we're reviewing the new Insight from Storm. So the Insight here has the brand new Tensor Core and also the R4S hybrid cover stock. So it's been quite a few years since the last time we saw a ball with the R4S cover stock. So we're pretty excited to see how this ball rolls. So today Jungle is going to be throwing this against the Omega Crux and the RST X1. So we expect the Omega Crux to hook a little bit more, but also be a little bit rounder and smoother in the back end. And compared to the RST X1, the inside here should hook a little bit less and hook a little bit earlier as well. Today we're bowling on 44 foot titanium. All three bowling balls here need a fair amount of oil, so should look really good down lane. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here, and also head over to our brand new shop, shop.jrproshop.com. We got a number of bowling balls, some of them are really, really cool, and we also have apparel coming soon for JR Pro Shop vids. So let's send it over to Jung, hopefully see some strikes. Probably not though. Jungle's back, same lane as we just did the High Road Max. New Storm Asymmetrical Hybrid in sight. Great, so I have a feeling this ball's gonna be a beast. Wow, the ball's good. That yellow splotch is kind of annoying me a little bit. Now you guys can really see when I muck up a release. Don't like that. <laughs> Move left there. Missed the hair right at the break point. Still turn the corner pretty hard. Hit the pocket, just like a little weak 10 there. All right, let's throw it against the trusty old Omega. Jones' favorite tank in the current lineup. I think this will be a little bit smoother. Maybe hook the same amount. I think that was smoother. Let me throw it again to make sense. Definitely smooth. But you can really see the inside kick left at the end. This has got a little bit more of a slower transition down lane. So this could be a really good one-two punch if you're bowling on lots of oil, a little bit longer patterns. And of course, we gotta get the trusty old RSD in there somewhere, don't we? Core numbers, surface, cover stock, all really, really close on the RSD here and the inside. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like almost identical down lane. Maybe the inside hooks a little bit more. Both high end asymmetrical hybrids, great 3000 finish. So, not a lot to separate the RST and the inside. Let's start one more time just to make sure. Really, really close. RST and the inside. I don't. I don't think I can tell the difference. The only difference is the color and the brand that's stamped on it. Omega is definitely earlier, a little bit rounder shape. Similar amount of boards hooked. Let's throw the inside on that same line as the RST. Then. Grab the ten with the insight. Really good shot. I thought I threw it pretty close to the same as the RST. Yeah, really, 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 really close. So if you have one, you don't need the other. That's for sure. All right, everyone, question time with Jungle. So before every ball review and every tournament, I freshen up my surfaces, put it back to the box, or what I think it would need for that particular day. Uh, how often do you freshen up your surfaces? How often do you change them? Let me know down in the comments. All right, we know this inside is really good from inside. Makes a really hard left turn down lane, especially on this 44 foot pattern. So 
Let's move a little bit right and see what happens. Is that just the RST in a different color? Well, I guess that means I like it. <laughs> I guess it just depends what color I'm feeling that day. Am I feeling yellow? I'll throw the inside. All right, let's go another seven, right? Let's amp the speed up a little. This ball is money on the longer patterns. Tighter angles, inside angles. Really, really good so far. All right, let's go another seven, right? Try and hit uh, eight here at the arrows. Okay, we're going Omega. We're trying to hit eight with the arrows here, just like the insight. Yeah, definitely smoother off the back end, but similar amount of hook, right? So definitely a good compliment from Storm there with the high-end Pearl, high-end Hybrid. Proton, of course, with the high-end Solid. Really good three balls at the very high end there of the lineup. All do slightly different things, so just depends what your game needs, right? All right, let's go seven left of the original spot here. Steal it down. Can't stop striking with this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut Jake's pay here. He doesn't have to edit. <laughs> All right, one deep shot with the Omega just to see the reaction difference. close but uh, the Omega is definitely a little bit rounder down there, a little bit smoother so it's gonna handle playing straighter a little bit better where the inside is gonna be play a little bit better when you're inside you need that snap in the back end so this is where my bro likes to play the line no matter what <laughs> okay maybe a little deep there now but Damn, that snap in the back end. Wow. Back to the shop, boys. What you doing, John? Smelling balls. John goes back from the lanes for the third time. Insight time. Wow, this ball really surprised me. First time I threw it down the lane, had this yellow splotch of color going around. Didn't really like it. But, uh, you know, the ball reaction, I really like that. You know why? It's identical to the RSTX1, like identical. I couldn't tell the difference. If they were both black balls with no colors and I threw them both, I would think they're the same ball. The boys were right earlier for the most part. Uh, the Omega is gonna hook a little bit earlier, a little bit rounder shape and covers a couple more boards, I think. So I'm gonna start with the Omega here on like the fresh on a long, then I'm gonna go down to the RST or the Insight for sure. We're just after that. Very good compliment, uh, but not, not a big difference. You know, just enough. So I bolted the Insight a little bit earlier today and then for the ball review in a couple different patterns and it really is really, really close to the RST X1 on all the patterns, right? So if I'm gonna go to a tournament, I'm gonna bring the RST though, just cause the darker color suits my eye a little bit better. But uh, the Insight is really, really good. Great compliment to the Omega and the Proton and the Storm lineup. So I think they hit it out of the park with this one. So one of the reasons I really like the RST one is very versatile. It's very responsive to hand position. I can get around it, I can be up the back and the ball is gonna do exactly what I do to it. So this is the exact way I feel about the insight. As you can see, I played all over the lane on 44 feet. I even played up five, well tried to. I'll say 10 to five, all the way inside, all the way far left. And this ball looked really, really good from all angles. So I really think it's gonna suit a lot of people. If you need something at the high end of your bag, if you like the colors, this ball is going to be great. The past few months, I've thrown a ton of balls from 900 Global, Roto Grip, and Storm, and there is a ton of overlap, right? So when you're buying balls, be careful. Look at the core numbers, ask your pro shop guy, because you don't want to be wasting your money overlapping, same reactions over and over again, right? You want a nice spread down the lineup on your arsenal. So just, just be aware of that, because Roto and Storm, two different balls, two different cores, two different cover stocks, but they react pretty close to the same. Pretty, pretty close. So just be careful of that. Stay tuned for the damn good verge by DV8. Ball's been on TV a couple times already. Probably see it a couple more times before the tournament is over. So we're gonna do a review on that for sure. It looks really, really good. Jungle out.